Hey guys, it's Fonza here with DipYourCar.com. We're going to take you on a special project today. What we're going to do is show you how to use PlastiDip to replicate a carbon fiber look. Uh, it's not going to be for everybody, and I know you guys out there, there is real carbon fiber and then there are replicas of carbon fiber. This is just another way to replicate that carbon fiber look if that's something you want to do. I'll take you through it step by step. It actually comes out really cool. Fonzie from Dip Your Car, enjoy the video. Okay guys, now I don't have any uh, spoilers or any um, pieces of cars laying around at the moment. One thing that I thought would be pretty cool to demonstrate the carbon fiber look is my iPad. So what we're going to do, and now I've dipped the iPad before, you guys have probably seen that video. We're going to start with a black base coat and then we're going to use the pattern over, over top of it and kind of do the layers. I'll take you through step by step. I'll bring the camera in close on that one as well. Alright guys, the first coat that we're going to do is, uh, is that first coat of black. Let that dry, come back about five minutes and put another one. All right guys, time for the second coat of black. All right guys, we've got the two coats of the uh, black on here. It's nice and dry. And what we've got is the, it's kind of like a rubber shelving mat. Now you can you find this in almost any store, Walmart or, or Target or anything like that. We will sell it on the site in the carbon kits just so you don't have to go looking for it. But basically what it is, it's just a checkerboard pattern. It's nice and soft. Uh, it's not very flexible, but what it is, uh, it's not very stretchy, but it's flexible. So what, it, what it'll do is if you're doing this pattern over like a spoiler or a different part of the car, a fender, a hood, something like that, it'll go over and wrap around the curves of whatever uh, body panel it is and that's really important. Now what you want to do is we're going to wrap this around the iPad and what's critical is that it's on there nice and tight. You can't have any pieces of it lifted up or are basically floating above the surface. If that's the case you're not going to get sharp lines and what's going to happen is you're going to have a fuzzy pattern. So just for this example I'm going to wrap this stuff around the iPad nice and tight and then hold it on there behind here, behind here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do basically three layers. Okay guys, we're going to be doing now three coats uh, basically uh, to get our, our simple carbon fiber. Now there's a lot of different kinds of carbon fiber patterns. There's kind of a staggered step look, uh, there's just a checkerboard look. We're going for a simple carbon fiber look here. And the first layer that we're going to do is with the standard gunmetal gray Plasti Dip that you can find on DipYourCar.com. It's regular gunmetal gray. We're going to do our first even coat right through the checkerboard with it. Then we're going to put a layer of silver metalizer right over that checkerboard. We're going to remove the mask and then we're going to do the most important step which is the glossifier. So I've got it on the iPad nice and tight. We've got our gunmetal gray. And I'm going to hold it down nice and tight and we're going to do our first coat of the gunmetal. Now you don't want to overdo it, but you certainly don't want to underdo it either. Now while it's there and resting in the exact same place, we're going to come back with our silver metalizer and we're going to give it a nice little dusting of silver metalizer right over where that gray is. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the checkerboard pattern and as you can see we've got our gunmetal gray that's created that basis of the carbon fiber. Now we're going to let that dry and then come back with the most important part which is the glossifier. Okay guys, we've given it a minute to dry. It looks pretty cool as it is, but it's going to really take uh, on a whole new level when we, when we drop that glossifier over it.
Now obviously it's wet, but as you can see, as soon as that glossifier dropped on there, it's really taken on a whole new look. Now it looked kind of like carbon fiber before the gloss, but that glossifier really gives it a whole new look and really takes it to that next level as far as that carbon fiber looks. Now you want to go heavy on the gloss, as you can see I went heavy, but not heavy enough to where it's going to, uh, to drip, because once it drips, uh, you you're pretty much have to start the project over again. All right guys, now this is the finished product. This is my carbon fiber uh, iPad. Um, now obviously this is not meant to replace carbon fiber. Uh, it is exactly what it's supposed to be. It's a visual replica of carbon fiber for someone who's looking for that look. Now because it's with Plasti Dip, it's completely removable and inexpensive to do. So hopefully just showing you guys another option if this is the look that you guys are going for. Um, Got to give a big shout out to our buddy Josh over on the Dip Your Car forums. We were working with a couple different methods with this uh, project and uh, Josh, he does a lot of cool projects on there. He was one who pointed us in the direction of that shelving mat. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, uh, customer service at dipyourcar.com or you can always give us a call. The black, the gunmetal, the glossifier, and, and, and the pattern as well, all the things we used for this project are available at dipyourcar.com. Fonzie from Dip Your Car, see you on the next one.